Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a camp tour video. Today I'm on Emily, who is level 354. This is my main character that I play. Um, and today I wanted to show you another modern house that I've built. In some respects, it's quite similar to the boathouse. And I did ponder maybe doing this video and showing it later on, but we'll see. This video might I might end up being out of order. I saw a house on Pinterest that I like and I had this burning desire to build it, which is quite often <laughs> how I end up building things. Um, my inspiration comes from lots of different sources. This house is down by New Gad. There is a nice flat area here by the road that I'm actually using also in my Building 101 camp and um, I'm going to continue with that series there for a while. I might, as the, as the series progresses, I might move to different locations to show different build ideas and styles. It's quite a low level area. It's still technically in the forest, but compared with other camps I've had, the enemies here seem to be fairly sporadic. I get a couple of super mutants or a couple of protectrons and an iBot. Um, so I haven't had any major problems, although for some reason the Protectrons seem to be able to shoot the side of my house from half a mile away. Um, they haven't actually broken it yet. I've used the double wall style again, um, and a fireplace. I do like building fireplaces. I will do a whole video on building fireplaces in my Building 101 to cover all of the styles that I know of and, and the basics on how to build them. This camp does have a slight difference, and I will show you why. Never give up. Just keep doing it. You'll make it I'm calling this ha camp my modern safe house because everything you need to survive in the wasteland is within these walls. You could, in fact, build it in a high level area and um, maybe put a missile turret on the roof and it would keep you safe from pretty much anything I think. I don't lock my doors but if you wanted to lock your doors you could keep other players out as well. Um, I have all of my workbenches on the ground floor. Obviously if you wanted to keep players out you would need to move the benches away from the window because there is a trick where you can glitch through a window by using a workbench or you could in fact take all of the windows out of the ground floor you don't really need them they're just for aesthetic purposes just put more lights up my water purifiers are on the inside um, to do this if you remove the foundation and you put the water purifier down as long as the concrete is abo above the level of the floor you should be able to snap the foundations back in. I have done this in previous camps so and it worked on this camp. You may have a problem if there's uneven ground below it or, or rocks because sometimes the game won't allow you to place things through rocks anymore. On the first floor we have the living area I've done this as a studio apartment. I like to pick a colour scheme before I start decorating and the colour scheme for this was green and grey. I have used the same fireplace that I used in the boathouse. To raise the fire up because I couldn't raise the foundation up I actually sort of built a pseudo floor using um, ammo boxes, these these green ones. I placed a load of them together and, and blueprinted blueprinted it and put it up put it under the fire to raise that up. I used grey on the end walls because if you're this works in the real world too. If you paint a wall in a long room a dark colour it actually appears to shorten the room, it's an optical illusion. So if you have a long thin space 
that you want to shorten then then paint the walls a darker color because sinks produce water you don't need an external water pump you can use this and I have an outside area here just for decoration or for you know eating dinner al fresco I like to build little plants stands and things I've used um, conduit railings and I will cover how to build those in one of my 101 videos. And I've used conduit railings again on the stairs. Just stops you falling falling down. So This is my new friend, courtesy of the endless, endless grind of fallout seasons. I have a small bathroom, it's pretty simple, although I always do my bathrooms the same way so I actually change this one up slightly and put the sink behind the door. Only a single bed now, this, this camp is for one person and I use these bookshelves to create a room divider. If you go up to the top floor, you'll see there's a covered stairwell and the garden is in fact on the roof. These farmable crop tiles allow you to build roof gardens effectively, which is what I've done. I have built a roof garden in the past, but obviously wasn't able to put crops in it. There used to be a glitch where you could put a mute fruit on a mat and then put a pot over it. but that doesn't appear to work anymore it changed when they changed the collisions but these crop tiles are available from the settlers if you do wastelanders and do the gold run you can buy the crop tiles from the settlers and um, if you have high enough I think it's quite early on actually I don't think you need particularly high reputation with them to be able to get these and even if you side with the raiders you can still buy items from both sides so don't feel locked into either. I used to grow a lot of gourds but I've stopped doing that because um, I used to use them to make cranberry relish but because I have carnivore um, I have found that if I use tasty squirrel stew instead I get double the XP bonus. I have put my generators in the fireplace again, in the chimney. Um, there is a, a roof panel. Here. And the generators are up there, including a smoking one to produce the smoke. Obviously you could get more crops up here if you wanted. I almost didn't put my Brahmin up here because originally I put her on this tiled area and the bottom of her, the wheels and the straw showed through the ceiling but I have discovered if you put her on the farmable tiles it doesn't show through. I don't know where she's gone. This has never happened before. Where is she? <laughs> Have you fallen down? Oh no, she glitched through. She must have glitched through the wall. <laughs> well, I called her Houdini for a reason. <laughs> when I first started playing the game, this player was targeting me. He used to follow me around and kill my Brahmin. So I decided to build a lockable barn. And that kind of worked, except she kept glitching through the walls. The walls do block the view somewhat, but um, it's still quite a nice outlook if you want to sit out here. And it is very safe. 
um, since I've been here, which is probably about two weeks, none of my crops or my, have been damaged and my Brahmin hasn't been killed. There were some times I used to log off and everything was fine and I'd log back on and my Brahmin would be dead. And I had no idea why. No enemies about when I left, no enemies about when I logged in, but my Brahmin was dead. Since I've been here, my Brahmin hasn't died. Although I'm a bit worried about her glitching through that wall now. If she's going to glitch through the wall, she might fall to her death. But it hasn't happened in two weeks. And none of my crops have been damaged. So that's worked out quite well. It, it is a safe house. And you could probably build it in a high level area. Maybe use metal walls. Although I will add that players with jetpacks can jetpack up to the roof. But if you lock your doors then, if you want to keep people out. I don't know if a scorch beast could land on the roof. That's something I'll, I'll have to see if I can move this. to the cranberry bog before I build my next camp. I have a plan for my next camp. It's going to be something a bit different if it works out. So it's a bit of a experiment so I don't know yet. I will just give you a tour of the outside. decided to try placing the conduits on the foundations and the the wires will actually go underground. If you had a single story building you might not need any vertical conduits. I decided to s place these going upwards like this just to create a cleaner line rather than the draping. So I'm always looking for different ways to do things and experimenting with different things. So I hope you like my safe house and um, I hope that it inspired you to experiment in Fallout 76. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.